What is Kanban? Kanban is a systemic method derived from Lean and Agile. It ensures teams pull work items, aka Kanban cards, through a process, thus achieving continuous delivery while making sure work in progress is limited to optimize flow. Successfully implementing Kanban is not complete without ensuring that all of its fundamental rules are adhered to and that your team applies them without making any major changes to their current process. The fundamental rules of Kanban are workflow visualization, application of whip limits, flow measuring and management, keeping process policies explicit, and recognizing process improvement opportunities. You can learn more about how these rules were developed by checking out our video on Kanban's rich history. For now, let's take a look at how to implement Kanban in your team. This workflow management system is easy to introduce and maintain. Stick to these few simple rules to revolutionize how you work and perceive tasks. So without further ado, let's increase your productivity and reduce waste by looking at the first step. Step one, visualize workflow. To be effective, your team needs to visualize the workflow. To do this, break down the process into distinctive steps and track the flow of work going through on a Kanban board. Kanban boards are information radiators, communicating the status of work to the entire team, thus fostering communication and team collaboration. Step two, limit work in progress. No one benefits from having lots of work in progress with nothing to show at the end of the day. Kanban allows you to control the work in progress to ensure maximum flow of an item from start to finish. Step three, measure and manage flow. You can't manage what you don't measure. Kanban focuses on ensuring a smooth and high flow of work while giving you the tools to measure it and identify bottlenecks. Step four, Make process policies explicit. Quality should be built into the process, not checked on later. Reduce defects and improve flow by making sure process policies are explicit and known to everyone. Step five, recognize process improvement opportunities. Once you've implemented the previous steps, you can focus on identifying bottlenecks and introducing gradual improvements to the whole process. These steps are essential to successfully implementing the Kanban method to your team. So what are you waiting for? Improve your workflow and follow us to learn more about the Kanban method.